Hello friends, welcome to the fifth episode of Pillow Books. I am Aunt Leslie. I am here to read you a fun bedtime story and show you one of my favorite pillows that I made and then I have a special show and tell for you afterwards too. Are you ready? Tonight's pillow, chickens. I love chickens so much. And this is a grain sack, so there's chicken feed in it and I turned it into a pillow. And you see it has, it has a boo-boo. So I had to sew it up. It had a hole in it when I found the feed sack in an antique mart. And Tammy, you'll notice that there's more dingleberries on the side here. I love the little black pom-pom fringe. It's adorable. Chickens are my favorite. So this is my third chicken pillow, I think. Mm -hmm. Chickens are a thing. Tonight, we have a special book. And in the link down below, if your parents want to um, download the book and print it, they can because the author and the illustrator of Vincent's Night Out is Bill Hart Davidson. And that's Lily's dad. And he made uh, this book when she was super little, when she was about two years old. So I'd like to read this to you tonight. And I'd like to say a special hello at the beginning to Leo and Matilda, hi Bug, and Hadley. I have something special to show you at the end too. Okay, are you ready to read? Let's do it. Vincent's Night Out. And Lily colored all over this when she was little, so that's why there are marks in it. But you don't do that to your books, do you? No, 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 no. So this book is about um, our two kitties and our dog, Alice. And Vincent is the yellow stripy kitty and Frank is the gray kitty. Do you ever wonder what it's like outside? Asked Vincent. I've been out there, said Frank. It's no fun. You have to catch your own food. Vincent waited for the door to be opened. It's getting dark outside, said Alice the dog. You don't want to get left out all night. Vincent could only think of the adventures he might have outside. Vincent waited by the door all day until he finally saw his chance. At dinner time, Vincent was nowhere to be found. It's really dark, nighttime. Where is Vincent? Vincent looked up and saw the moon and the stars. He hid for a while behind the bushes. Vincent heard a rustling in the bushes beside him. Who's that? He asked somewhat timidly. It was a bunny. Hi, Mr. Bunny, I'm Vincent. Do you have anything to eat? I missed my dinner. I have some yummy carrots, said Mr. Bunny. Vincent was pretty sure that cats don't eat carrots. Bye bye, Mr. Bunny, said Vincent. I'm going to have to find something else to eat. Vincent peeked around the side of the house. He saw Ms. Jane Doe. You can eat some grasses with me, said Jane. Vince did like to eat grass, but he also missed his cat food and he was starting to get sleepy. Vincent saw a gray tail in the grass. Maybe she has something good to eat, Vince thought. Mrs. Opossum offered Vincent a bite of her apple. Thank you, said Vincent, but I think I better go back to the bushes. I'm getting sleepy. I don't think I'll ask him about food, whispered Vince to himself. Look, do you know what that is? It's a skunk. Vincent lay down to sleep with his tummy rumbling. The next thing he knew, it was morning again. I see him, Vince wants to come back in, said Frank. Vincent was so happy to be back inside. And he was very happy to see his cat dish again. Vince settled in for a nap, dreaming, dreaming of all his new friends. The end. Look, there's the skunk again. Oh, that was fun. And that really did happen. Our kitty Vincent spent a night outside and we imagined the adventures that he had. Okay, are you ready for the special surprise? I have an interesting show and tell for you today. So Hadley, I was super sad to hear about your pup, Weedy, and I lost a puppy too recently, and his name uh, was Angus, and he was a very sweet doggy. And one way that we wanted to remember Angus was by 
making this stained glass of him. Isn't that silly? But Angus was a super sweet puppy and he had silly ears. So he had both ears and one would go and just lay um, flat on his head like that. But we have the stained glass now of our pup, Gus. And we remember him every time we look at him. So Hadley, maybe if you draw a picture of Weedy or make some artwork and then you can have that to look at him and remember that would be awesome. So good night, friends. Thanks for joining. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Be good to your parents, please. They need it. Give when in doubt. Give more.